okay good morning all so today we will focus on the uh, very important part of the uh, steel structure uh, that is the plastic analysis and design of the steel structure for the any uh, competitive examination uh, for gate examination mm -hmm. uh, if, if we consider the uh, subject design of steel structure so plastic analysis uh, is a very important part uh, in the design of steel structure that we have to learn for the all the examination uh, which is uh, for the kid for the competitive for the upsc all ex ies examination so this is very important part so uh, we will see uh, or we will learn some basic part of this uh, particular plastic uh, design it means what is plastic design then how to calculate say factor for various uh, sections steel sections then uh, uh, what is the behavior of plast uh, plastic uh, of uh, steel member that part we will cover uh, in this particular uh, today's session okay so so if we see uh, the introductory part of uh, the uh, plastic analysis so uh, in the elastic analysis of structure superposition is often used and it is valid so what is elastic first we will see and then what is the behavior of plastic in the steel design that we will uh, see so elastic analysis it means any steel structural member under the loading condition it will be uh, worn with before the failure the before before the failure any structural steel steel structural member will carry the load and that member uh, when under the loading condition so that member shows the elastic behavior elastic behavior it means what before failure whatever stresses or strains comes under that particular steel member so member may be steel bar you have seen the steel bars what uh, we are using in the concrete uh, structure that is again steel member if we apply the tensile for some steel mem uh, steel bar then that bar under loading condition at that time the uh, elasticity of that bar the steel member are ductile members it means what when this particular members under loading condition at that time that member can elongate ductile for some period after that the elasticity of that member decreases then the member goes to the failure so that is the elastic city or ductility is nothing but the elastic analysis so what is elastic analysis the elastic analysis means stress and strain then these two parts uh, coming under the elastic analysis here if we see the first point the elastic analysis means the stress and stress stress and strain these two members comes uh, two things comes under the elastic analysis it, it means what if the member under loading condition it means elongation or compression at that time your member will elongate means ductility of that steel member is increases it means that member is elongated where up to that elastic limit त्या मेंबर से इलास्टिक लिमिट कुठे पर्यंत आहे अप टू दैट पॉइंट इट मींस द इल्ड पॉइंट वी आर कॉलिंग एज अ इल्ड पॉइंट इन द बिहेवियर ऑफ द स्टील मटेरियल वी हैव सीन इन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल इन द सेकंड इयर्स बिहेवियर ऑफ स्टील मटेरियल इट मींस अप टू द इलास्टिक पॉइंट अप टू द इल्ड पॉइंट द मटेरियल कैन कैरी द लोड एंड दैट पार्ट वी आर कॉलिंग एज अ Uh, stress strain behavior of that particular uh, graph and uh, the elasticity it means the uh, member within the elastic limit it means the obey's hooks law means it means stress is directly proportional to strain stress is directly proportional to strain it means the your member is in the elastic zone and that is the elastic analysis what how much strain how much stress that is the part of the before the up to the yield point whatever analysis we are doing that is the elastic analysis and that is valid but after the elastic limit 
again member can carry the load. What I am saying, up to the yield point, your member can carry the load and that analysis is the elastic analysis. It means stress at that time, stress is directly proportional to strain. But after the elastic, after the yield point, again your member carry the load. That means what? Your member carry more load than the elastic zone. And that, that is known as, that zone is known as the plastic zone. So here in this particular topic, we are uh, learning about the your basics of plastic analysis. So where the behavior of plastic is often, after elastic, plastic condition is there. If your member is under loading condition, Ekada member with the load eight zato, tavili member load eight, eight, eight member ha plastic zone madizato. It means for the failure. At one stage, your member will be failed. So at the failure time, their plastic condition is good. So an elastic analysis does not give information about the load that will collapse a structure. See, here, what written? Elastic analysis does not give the information about the collapse of structure. It means elastic analysis, it means what? Your stress is directly proportional to strain. It means obeys Fuchs law. It means without failure of structure, whatever analysis we are doing, that analysis is the elastic analysis. But at the time of collapse of structure, what is the behavior? Structure Paratana has a behavior kayasil. That's analysis kartoika karala paichi. So that comes under the plastic analysis. Then an intermediate structure, the loads greater than the load that first causes yield to occur and point of the structure. As we have discussed, the first initially your member under loading condition. The load is taken by the member up to the yield point. That is the elastic analysis. And after the yield point, whatever analysis we are doing, that is the plastic analysis. So this is the uh, some of the introductory part. Then uh, then uh, the structure will stand if it is stable. The find the redetermination re up, up to the yield. It means what? If any structure is stable, it means existing structure, you have, you have seen many more structures. When structure is uh, uh, stable, if the stress and strain coming into the structure within the limit means not a more stress, not a more strain. If more stress and strain, it means whatever load coming on the structure, for that load, the member or any structural steel member is within the elastic limit. That time, your structure is stable. But when structure is unstable, any earthquake often, any impact load coming on the structure, at that time, your structure may be unstable. Unstable, it means what? It may be chance of collapse or it may be uh, in the failure zone. Without warning, structure will fail in the uh, earthquake. Bukampa Made with Aplala warning just no milta, structure fail. Then any impact. Ekhada building Varti Kaitri impact load is hala. World Trade Center. Yesterday was the, uh, I think, 2001. In 2001, we have uh, how many years you old? In 2001, maybe some of the one year, two year, or many of you not born, correct? In the 2001, anyone can reply?
the World Trade Center building in America, the uh, that aeroplane directly uh, strike to the building and build immediately building collapse. It means that is the impact force on the building. Again, uh, earthquake. So such condition your building was unstable, and that un it means directly collapse at that time. So that behavior we have to learn in the plastic analysis. So now now we are talking about the only steel structure, not we are talking about plastic analysis. We are talking about only steel structure, not concrete structure. So concrete behavior is a, uh, different, and here steel behavior is a different. So again here. Uh, it is only when structure has exhausted all the redetermined will extra load causes the fail. It means if extra load uh, coming on the structure, it will cause the failure. Then plastic analysis is a method. Now here we can see the what is plastic analysis. So plastic analysis is a method through which the actual failure load of the structure is calculated. See, in the elastic limit, we are considering the load up to the elastic point, that is yield point. After the yield point, whatever load taken by the your member that comes under the plastic analysis. So elastic analysis, that failure load is not calculated, but in the plastic analysis, the failure load is calculated. Manjas yield point per in such a behavior ahe te elastic limit made upon elastic city kiva elastic analysis made karto. Manjas kai karto in that area stress is directly proportional to strength. There is no failure. Aplala maitas na failure kasa uta elastic analysis made. Stress kitiate, strength kitieto, that part only we are uh, learning. So what? In the plastic analysis, we are calculating the failure loads, and as we as will be seen, uh, the failure load can, failure load can be uh, greater than the elastic load capacity. Obviously, up to the yield point, elastic limit is there, or elastic calculation analysis is there. After the yield point, so member can carry the load more and more, more and more up to the failure. And that behavior, after the elastic limit, your member cannot come its original shape and size. So that analysis comes under the plastic analysis. So if you see your uh, steel rod, then I section, channel section. As a, a civil engineer, we are familiar with these particular uh, sections. Upon generally, apply village, garat, putle parts, building la uh, these components are there. Steel eye section, steel channel section, rectangular box eye section, uh, or uh, angle sections that we can see. Seen. We have seen this uh, element. So, if we see now this particular element in the elastic and plastic zone, see now at your home any structural element is there steel structure element angle i section now this is stable it means within the elastic limit if impact load is coming jcp na apla ekada steel cha structure vor patra vor jcp na tacha je bucket atena marlo when what will happen your i section or your uh, channel section will bend like this vertical member will bend it means that due to this impact load the major load coming on this particular member and your member is now going to collapse so this is the your plastic analysis now if we see here behavior material behavior karo. So, as I told you, the steel material having a ductility property. Steel material having a ductility property. It means this will elongate if we apply the load on this particular member. But the limitations are there up to where, what point 
the load we are applying up to the point where elastic yield point if we apply the load there in this particular zone stress is directly proportional to strain means strain is not there only stress is increases up to this particular point after the yield point strain is increases and stress is reduced up to the failure point so if you see this particular now this is very important see here stress versus strain sigma is nothing but here stress and this epsilon is nothing but the strain so this graph is showing the stress versus strain so if we see here here e is written it means elastic limit so upper yield point so this yield up to the yield point the linear variation is there if we see the graph the linear variation it means the stress is directly proportional to strain and that area is the elastic zone it means only stress is increases on the member no strain it means the cross sectional area of member is not affect in this particular area and when if we remove the load in this particular area all upper yield point parent jar apan load remove kela then your member comes under the regain its original shape and size it means up to the yield point there is the elastic behavior if we remove the load your member comes regain its original shape and size now after the yield point if we apply the load then after the yield point lower and upper yield point the your member goes in the plastic zone it means what that again we will see in the next two three slide what what will happen plastic zone you got plastic zone it means if we remove the load member re come regain its original shape, shape and size then after the yield point the your member will goes in the plastic zone it means what there is a increase in strain and decrease in stress here stress is increases here stress is increases and strain is decreases but here the strain is a increases and stress is decreases up to the failure then strain hardening more and more strain coming in this particular member more and more strain coming coming in this particular area necking it means tutaichi condition necking ya tikani tumhi if you have you have seen the uh, steel rod have you seen a steel rod at the failure at one point what will happen more and more strain coming at one point at the time of failure if we apply the load and at a one point there is a neck formation is there and your steel rod cut at this particular point so this is neck formation and uh, this last point is the failure point it means breaking point so this is the material behavior steel material behavior uh, we can see in the form of graphical representation Uh, and how or uh, how uh, we can see because uh, because the uh, ductility property of the steel so now uh, now uh, if we see again uh, the material behavior so here this is the very uh, important part so first behavior is the elastoplastic behavior it means what elastoplast both elasto means this vertical line is indicating the elastic analysis means obey the hooks law this is the yield point after the yield point your 
plastic zone is there and your material is a break direct without any warning or without any taking the load so that is the elastoplastic behavior then rigid plastic behavior it means there is no elasticity so some of the members so without ductility property is not there concrete any ductility property is there elongation is there no elongation in concrete so if we apply the tensile load directly break from the one location it will not elongate but still will elongate it means elongation this in linear variation is nothing but in the first linear variation is nothing but your elongation property now rigid plastic rigid it means directly broken so here no any vertical linear variation directly it will collapse that is the rigid plastic condition third is the elastoplastic with linear hardening it means what elasto elasto means your linear variation it means uh, it will elongate first steel rod if we take the example of steel rod steel rod will elongate first after up to the up to the yield point yield point la jor load kadun getla tar kay hoil original shape la yil after the yield point again we apply the load on the steel bar what will happen again it will elongate some time or some uh, okay some time it will take the more load but it will not come again its original shape also from yield point it will come original shape and size but when your member goes into the plastic zone it will not come under the come to the original shape and size some of the uh, elongation of that member is a uh, textless so that elastoplastic with linear hardening it means when elastic limit strain has reduce uh, produce and plastic limit also some of the strain has produced in this particular member so that nothing but elastoplastic with linear hardening then fourth behavior is the rigid plastic with linear linear material it means there is no elasticity in this particular member there is no elasticity only member initially in the plastic condition but some of the uh, elasticity some of the strain occurs in this particular member and at one point it will collapse so these are the four material behavior behavior properties of the steel members so some of the steel members it means Uh, some steel uh, uh, if we take the example of uh, aluminium aluminium can cannot take the uh, elongate elongated load if we apply the load on the aluminium it will break direct then uh, other brittle materials are there with made up of, of the uh, steel manje kai tari steel cha ferrous cha part tyachyamadhe add kelela asto but they are not elongated so elastoplastic it means elasticity is there but plasticity is not there rigid plastic it means directly break elastoplastic it means elasticity is there plasticity is there it means uh, strain occurs in this particular zone and last is the rigid plastic with linear hardening means some in this uh, sometime uh, the strain is carried by this particular member and after that member will be fail so these are the uh, behaviors of the members now again uh, you can see here uh, this is the elastic zone now here sigma y and epsilon y it means stress versus strain curve is there 
here stress sigma y at yield point y is nothing but yield at yield point some what amount of stress is generated and the behavior of your member is a linear it means your member is in the elastic zone obey hooks law up to yield point your member will not changes its property no cross section area is changes only taken the stress no strain but up to after the yield point this linear this line is the plastic zone so here load again carried in this area in this area again load carried it means sigma y is here it means yield stress up at yield point whatever stress we have calculated stress is nothing but sigma is equal to p by a so yield point means whatever p here p come at this point divided by cross sectional area of this member is nothing but this stress but after this yield point your member goes into the plastic zone it means what the behavior of this member is a changes it means strain is coming strain here strain is increasing now and stress is reducing sigma is reducing and e is epsilon is increasing manje load ghenyachi kshamta kami hote pan tumcha member ductile aslyamule kay hote elongate hote so that part comes under the plastic zone but after the plastic zone one point or one location will come at that point your member will be cut so that again in this strain hardening again and again load coming at one particular member member and strain is increasing uh, in this particular member and in this behavior at final point uh, up to this point your load is uh, taken so yield point is here and ultimate point this point we are calling as a ultimate point this point is a ultimate point and at this ultimate point ultimate stress is there yield stress is at yield point and ultimate means this is the final load taken by the your member at this point your final load is taken but at this load your member regain come not come regain its original shape and size from the ultimate because your member was uh, member is fail at that uh, point so this is the ultimate stress and again here strain is increases and stress is decreases up after yield point strain is increases and strain is decreases and at the end your member will be fail this is the material behavior this is very important uh, part uh, as an civil engineer what will happen in the particular uh, steel member that we know then again this is the idealized uh, elasto uh, elastic plastic material curve so here uh, uh, we can see here Uh, the ideal elastic plastic it means initially uh, elasticity is there uh, it means uh, obey hooks law after that after yield point uh, your uh, hardening strain hardening is there plastic zone is there and at the failure is there in strain is increases up in the plastic zone and stress is uh, decreases and uh, st uh, stress is increases in the elastic zone and strain is uh, Uh, decreases so such uh, increasing and decreasing stress and strain that also uh, uh, questions uh, you will ask in examination in the elastic limits limit strain is uh, decreases or strain is increases like this question you will ask question so in the elastic zone stress is increases and strain and strain is constant in the plastic zone only strain increases stress decreases or stress not coming in this particular area so this is very important part okay again 
this behavior is shown in the uh, another graphical representation. Uh, what happen when any particular member under loading condition? So some of the area of that particular member under tension and some of the area of, of uh, this member is under compression. It means stress strain curve for the elastic, preferably plastic material. So under loading condition, if we uh, bend the steel member, so in the upper area, inside area, there is a compression and bottom area, there is a tension. If we take uh, any bar, keep in the horizontal plane, if we apply the bending load at center of the rod, our structural beam, uh, structural uh, in the RCC structure beam, you have seen horizontal beams are there. So horizontal beams are what will happen? The load is coming on the uh, beam. At that time, beam will deflect. Deflect at the time of deflection, what will happen? Inside area. So this is the beam. This is the simply supported beam. And if we apply the load, what will happen? The bending is there. It means in this inside area, compression is there and external area, tension is there. This is for RCC, steel, any. So any flexural member is there. Flexural means bending moment comes under this member. Uh, it may be purlin, it may be um, beam, horizontal member in the structure. So tension and compression. So if you see here, here uh, sigma y, it means at yield point stress is there. And here epsilon y at yield point strain is there. But so tension and compression, it means sometimes positive uh, load taken and here negative means in this particular area. So this, so behavior we are showing like this. We are showing the behavior of this beam like this. So here uh, tension is there, here compression is there or depends upon the loading top and bottom. If we apply the load from upward side, then top side tension is there, internal side compression is there. If we apply the load downward side, again in internal side compression is there, bottom side tension is there. So this is the negative and positive stress and strain behavior of elastoplastic material. Getting? Again, now behavior of cross section. We have seen behavior of material. Now behavior of cross section. So cross sections are many more cross sections we are using in the steel structure. So there is angle section, rectangular section, eye section, then channel section. So many cross sections we are using for the construction of steel structures as a steel material. So what is the behavior when the particular cross section is under loading condition? That we will see in this particular point. So if you see here, once yield has been reached, it is taken that the indefinite amount of strain can occur. As we have discussed in the last two, three slides, stress is increases up to the yield point. After the yield point, stress is decreases and strain is increases in the plastic region. So here written, yield has been reached. Manjas elongation increase hota se. After the yield point, when the elongation of member is there, at that time, the strain, in indefinite amount of strain can occur in the particular member. Then also, 
since uh, so much post yield strain is modeled the actual material also capable of allowing the such strain so some of the materials are there tor steel is there mild steel is there so mild steel is still having a more elongation capacity so depends on material it material depends on the composition of material added in this particular uh, at the time of casting of material so tor steel mild steel tor steel madhe content vegla asnar hai mild steel madhe content vegla hai ferrous is a, a part of this material but the other chemical composition is there so depends on this chemical composition your strain hardening or strain coming uh, carrying capacity of particular member is different again uh, it must sufficiently ductile for the idealized stress strain curve to be valid when it will uh, valid so idealized stress strain curve up to the uh, when idealized stress strain curve obtain then your ductility of member is uh, sufficient so again uh, join our our timing is uh, closing here all are requested to join again